Hi, um, this is College Weight Loss. Um, I am showing you my run that I do. And first thing I do is leave from here. Uh, as I run, I listen to the Hunger Games. I'm on chapter eight right now. And yeah, so right now I'm walking for five minutes and then I'm gonna be jogging for eight minutes. And I'm gonna be keep doing that and I'm not. No, I, I think I I jog for eight minutes and then I walk for five minutes and then jog for eight minutes again. So hopefully here we go. Um, I haven't really been able to do the full eight minutes yet, so I'm keep I'm gonna keep doing um, the eight minute jog until I can actually finish it. So I have. 26 seconds left. I'm so tired. Five more seconds. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I made it. I ran pretty far. I didn't stop either. Oh. Uh. Now I have a five minute walk. Apparently I'm halfway. So uh, I'm by the lagoon and the water, the air from the water feels nice because I'm sweating. Right now in the Hunger Games, uh, She's talking about the first time she met Gail uh, and all that stuff. So I'm in like the middle of like chapter eight, I think. So I have a minute left of walking and then I have to run again. So the, by the time I'm done running, I'll probably be somewhere over there. So, yeah, here we go again. So I have uh, 42 seconds left and I'm uh, at Castle Island now. Uh, 30 seconds left. Whew. That was really that was a that was a good good run. Five seconds left. Airplane! Airplane! Oh yeah! I did it! Uh, uh, so I was I was over there somewhere. When I started, and now I'm here at Castle Island. And it took me 26 minutes, which isn't bad. It took a 10 minute car ride from my house, but. Uh, whoo! No one's at Sullivan's. So if anyone sees this and they, they want to go to Sullivan's, it's like. There's like no one here. Okay, time to rest. Time to do my four minute walk and cool down. Then head back home. Uh, in a minute away from uh, completing my cool down and I am at the playground at Castle Island. Um, I'm about to be where I usually stop at this um, when I run and all that stuff. Usually it's at the end over there. See it? Well, I'll show you when I'm there. But uh, yeah, usually that's where I stop. But for some reason, I'm a little slow today, I guess. So that was my run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My Hunger Games. Oh, my workout is complete. I'm gonna share it on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, 
if you guys, well, I'm not gonna give you my Facebook because that's weird. But uh, my Twitter is at MinVenge. So if you wanna follow me, then that'd be awesome. All right, so another day of running. Uh, so next, I'm gonna try to do, well, my Hunger Games. My Hunger Games stopped working. Like, I was listening to it. I got a call from Cassie, so I picked that up, talked to her, <coughs> and then all of a sudden, my Hunger Games didn't work from my ears. Like, it plays from here, like, the red-headed Avox girl, who insisted hate... The red-headed the red Avox girl. But, uh... That's, I'm, I have this plugged in and it's not working. I don't know why. Uh... So I have to figure that out while I'm walking. So, I, I had a, like... I was over... Where was I? I was somewhere over there. Where it stopped working. And then I had to run with silence. So, yeah. So I'm almost at the point of no return. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's what I was talking about over there. See where the bridge starts? And it goes all along there, over there. That's where I usually stop. Uh, but, you know, whatever. <coughs> I was a little slow today, but oh well. At least I did it. So it's kind of foggy around here. See, look at that fog. You can't really see it, but it's there. You could, usually you could see buildings over there, but you can't right now. So I'm going home now. So it's really quiet out here. Usually I have my headphones in listening to the Hunger Games, but I never realized how quiet it is. I just passed the house. Thing that I usually take pictures of on Instagram and I ran from all the way like right there probably all the way around I didn't go all the way around but I will soon and stops around right there I think that's pretty impressive for a person of my stature you know um, yeah, so I weighed myself today, this morning, and I weighed 231 pounds, which is good. Uh, I'm starting the six-week body makeover again. I uh, started it last May 21st, and I lost a total of 18 pounds on that, so hopefully it, it works again. Planes. The planes have their invisibility cloak on. So I can't see them. I'm doing the six week body makeover again. I started it last May 21st. It's lost 18 pounds. And hopefully I will do that again. If I lose 18, 18, 18 pounds again, I'll be in the two tens. So that's exciting. I'll be in the high two tens. So let's hope that works again. So as I'm walking here, I started thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, so where am I at now? Um, I'm at 231, one more pound, and I've lost 20 pounds uh, since January. 30 more pounds, and I'm at, I lose 50 pounds, which isn't too far away. Um, so, like, say if I get on the scale, I'm 230, then I've lost 20 pounds in four months. Which is pretty good, I think. And then... I just need to lose 30 more pounds after that, and I'm 250. And if I can lose 20 pounds, I can lose 20 pounds again, right? So I just need to think of it that way. And then... When I lose 50 pounds, I'll be at 200. So that's my halfway point, I guess. So I was just thinking about that. I also never realized how many, how many people jog. Like, I thought that like no one jogged, especially on a crappy day like this where it's all foggy and stuff. But I just saw like a total of like 
six or seven joggers go past me and go past me that way. And I'm sure another one will pass me sometime soon anyways. But I, I didn't even... I'm one of those people now, I guess. I, I guess I... I never thought I'd be one of these people who jog, no matter what kind of weather it is. But, uh... The lifestyle, I guess. And I don't mind this lifestyle, because it's helping me lose weight, which I need. If you don't know, I'm trying to lose 100 pounds in a year. Kind of like what Shay Carl did. Uh, but I guess I, I talk about it more than he did. Because he has a bunch of other channels that he does and whatnot. So hopefully I'll be able to achieve that goal. I have until January. It is May right now. Uh, I've lost 20 pounds. No, I haven't lost 20 pounds yet. I've lost about like 18 or 19 pounds since January. Um, I weigh in every the 11th of every month. So when it's the 11th, just come and see how I'm doing and stuff. Try to support me, you know. And I'll support you guys too if you, if you guys are trying to lose weight. I'll uh, subscribe to you or add you as a friend on YouTube or whatever. Because that's what I usually get. I don't usually get subscribers, I just get friends. Which I don't mind. As long as people see me doing what I'm trying to do. That's all that matters. I just try to, I just want to try to get people more motivated to run. Because that's what you really need to do. Um, is to run and eat better. Which is why I'm doing the, the six week body makeover. Because that will portion control myself so I don't eat crap. There will be a lot of random thoughts when I do this, I'm sorry. But things, these things just pop into my head that I want to talk about with myself. But, uh, have you ever thought, what if I did this earlier? Like last May, I was about 230, like 234, I think. Like what if I did this, what if I started this back then? What if I start losing weight and eating right, not in January, but in uh, May of last year? I would have been, I would have been at 150 already. That just makes me mad that I, I that I, it, it took me so long to realize that I really need to lose weight. And I could have just been done right now. See, there goes another jogger. Uh, I should count how many joggers I see when I do when I do my jog. Do I count as a jogger? I'm gonna count myself as a jogger. But yeah, it just makes me upset that I waited so long to actually do something about it. So if you're there, if you're at 234 or 235 or whatever, and you're like, really, I need to lose weight, but you know, I'm just gonna wait until I'm heavier. Don't wait until you're heavier. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll regret it. So just start now. Start right now. Just go out, go out for a jog. Do it. I also want a bike ride. Um, I need, a, I need to buy a bike though. So once I start, once I get my job, and once I get that nice check, I'll, uh, I'll get a bike. But until then, I'm jogging, which I don't mind. Uh, gets my legs a nice workout because they're huge. Um, oh, nice! I'm almost home. 